had so many different opinions. People have been saying it's the best thing they've done. Some have been saying it's the worst road they've ever been on. <laughs> Let's go see what it's all about. <laughs> this is absolutely epic. Hey, hey guys, guys what's going on? you are in for a treat. This is our first episode well, of, well, well yeah, <laughs> first of hopefully about 14 or 15 episodes of The Gib, which is pretty insane. So what you're watching right now literally happened the yesterday. Day before, yeah. So you are literally yep. watching it as it's happening. Um, you are going to see absolutely everything. I'm going to show you the roads, the everything. water crossings. Just everything. Camps we're at. Where we're going to the camps, the gorges. All the, the setups we're with because we're with six other Five, family, other, five, five other families, families sorry, six we've, we've all got different caravans, we've all got different cars, uh, it's going to be really, really good, so you are literally watching it live. in real Not time. Live, but yeah, the day, day after. Yes, yeah, so so this happened should be, yesterday. Should be epic. Should be really, really so cool. I hope so. you enjoy it and hopefully we can give you some entertainment. <laughs> See how we well, go. We'll go straight into yesterday. Our first trip was just to the prison Boab tree, so I'll just put that in right now. All right, so our first um, point to look at. So we've come from Broome this morning um, and we are stopping at the Boab uh, prison tree. So um, we've just come along and kind of read this. So before Derby was established, Aboriginal people were ki um, kidnapped from West Kimberley. The kidnappers known as blackbirders were settlers who were connected with the pearling industry and they wanted divers and workers for the pearling boats. So they rounded up people, put them in chains and marched them to the coast. Some may have been held captive at the Boa prison tree while they waited for a boat. That's really dark actually, that is, that's um, uh, yeah. They used to kidnap um, Aboriginals because the pearling industry needed um, divers. Yeah, no, Belinda told me about this. Yeah. The females? I'm not, oh, I don't oh, know. No, so Belinda, uh, people were traveling with, told me, she did when they did the Pearl Tour, or yes. the, some tour they did. Yeah. And the best free drive, divers, are, females are better than males at free diving. Yeah. For some reason, they have lungs or something. And the best ones apparently were pregnant ones. So they used to take Aboriginal pregnant oh. Aboriginal ladies and make them um, dive down for pearls. That's true. Yeah, so they used to, they used to kidnap them and um, wait for and leave them here until a boat came to take them. That's really, that's actually really yeah. horrible. Yeah, that is absolutely... Nasty, eh? Huge. How do you, like, I wonder if there's people yards. guarding yeah. them out here? Take do you reckon? Yeah. Because obviously there's a hole in the middle of the tree. Oh. Some of our history in Australia is actually really dark, isn't it? And it's, um, and it's quite horrible. And seeing places like this just make you realise, you know, where it used to happen, what used to happen. Yeah, really, really sad, actually. It's a very beautiful tree though. It's, got, it's some kind of fruit tree. Yeah, so it's 14 metres round, like circumference. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Oh. You wouldn't be able to put your arms around that, Quinny. <laughs> All right, so last night our first trip was at, uh, we stayed at Birdwood Station. So that is Quick not, Overnighter. Yeah, Quick Overnighter. It was only about 10 minutes from the actual Gib sign. Uh, so you can actually keep your caravans there while you do the Gib, and that is for $10 a day. So that's pretty cool. So if you're not too sure, if you want to take your caravan, just Leave store it there, it there yeah. at Birdwood, and um, they'll take it for $10 right, a day. We're about to show you that you can take your caravan. Yeah, well, hopefully we're about to show you that. But anyway, we paid $35 for two adults, and then it was $8 for a child for a five to 12 years old so it was about 50 ish dollars which it's is good fine because if you're coming from Broome <coughs> sorry if you come from Broome the, the first camp of the gives pretty pretty bit of big 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 drive so be about a five hour it's day a good, good spot to start and we all know you children fill up water there yeah dump points the last dump point I'm pretty sure on the whole give so so Bird was the last stop um oh well, yeah it's the last dump point we're pretty sure we're not actually sure well, well sorry. Um, yeah, we've but looked it up read, and we can't no find points. we can't find dump points uh, you can anywhere. You fill up water there as well, so that's good, you know. So you come from Broome, you probably don't need water, but start there for one night, get your water, do yeah. your dump point, and then off you go. Anyway, Let's so um, make sure you subscribe, guys, and stay tuned for our daily episodes. It's going to be epic. Um, let's hope we don't break anything. Don't say that. <laughs> You're not meant to say that on camera. Oh yeah, that's bad luck. <laughs> Alright, let's go get a massive group photo of everyone at the sign. This is absolutely wicked. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, how bloody cool. Um, so that's pretty much the whole group. We're still waiting for uh, one of a family. Um, hopefully they'll meet us along the way and meet us at the campground. But um, we're excited. I am 
bloody nervous as hell. Uh, we've had a lot of people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've had a lot of people message us as soon as they knew we were doing the gib and we've had so many different opinions people have been saying it's the best thing they've done but the roads weren't even bad some have been saying it's the worst road they've ever been on it's worse than the cape and um we hated the cape the road was really bad so yeah we don't know what to expect i almost just want to get it started just to um see what it's all about we've pretty much got all bitumen the whole way today and then we've got eight k's of dirt road to our campground so um hopefully those eight k's of dirt road are really good to us today let's go see what it's all about <laughs> show me on the map where are we going so we're going to that campground and then where are we going from there oh to swim with the what Crocodiles. Crocodiles. So we're going to end up at the campground this afternoon and um, then we're going to go to... No. So yeah, we're going to end up at um, Leonard um, rest stop this afternoon and then we're going to hit Tunnel Creek. So um, we've um, obviously Winjana Gorge is actually closed at the moment, but Tunnel Creek should have a few freshies in it. We don't know. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Where we're staying, I think, I think there's crocodiles in the river so the kids will be able to see them. Yes. Fresh water. <laughs> All right, let's go see what this road is all about. Wish us luck. Leonard River rest stop and um, so there's a couple of spots out the front there for a couple of vans but if you go through the gate apparently there's um, room for quite a lot of people but there is six of us <laughs> so oh, and it is 10 o'clock so hopefully there's enough room for us it doesn't, look like it, man. It doesn't there's a few people in here actually a few back there as well so oh dear so let's hope um, yeah it doesn't matter where we don't need to have a nice spot such for it's only for a night isn't it so we can literally just all park up in the same spot, hopefully. Yeah, all right. that because I'll be on the road. <laughs> yes. All right. Jeez, it's 10 o'clock and it is full, which is crazy. It just shows you, obviously, people have come um, to park here to go to the closest gorge, which there's Winjana here and also the one we're going to today, which is Tunnel Creek. So um, this is a little bit of a hot spot. So get here early, <laughs> especially if you're in a group of six. Who does that? Jeez. Well, lucky we didn't come an hour later. Jeez. It's the hot spot in town. <laughs> now, no, there isn't. Well, TJ went down to the end and um, there's nothing down there, so oh, really? yeah. Oh, look at our little communal area. <laughs> All right, there you go. Well, that wasn't a dirt road at all. That was supposed to be a dirt road. We were getting ready to uh, stop and let our tires down, but it was bitumen the whole way. So um, there you go. I didn't tape everything up. Oh yeah, I know, I did. I bloody did. Oh well. All right, well, I, I cannot believe that there wasn't any uh, dirt roads today. So it was about 120 Ks from Birdwood to uh, Leonard River rest stop. So there you go, didn't even need to tape anything. We thought it was dirt road. So anyway, um, the dirt road we're gonna be doing this afternoon is um, to Tunnel Creek. So um, we'll, um, that definitely is dirt road. Oh, there you go. Well, I'll keep that one on because we won't be using the microwave tonight. So um, that will save a little bit of tape for t tomorrow. So um, there you go, what a surprise. Well, they do say in a couple of years time that the gib is gonna be all bitumen. So um, that's um, a little bit of taste of that. That'll be very different, won't it? So I'm kind of glad that we're doing it before it's actually bitumen. Are you helping me take all the tape off? Good job, mate. So we can all hang out over there and there's me and um, Damo and Emma beside us. You do have to um, park a little bit close to your friends here. So <laughs> make sure you like them. 
<laughs> what are you doing your tyres to? Uh, okay, 26 on the back, 22 on the front to start with. And, and what are we going to do our caravan on tomorrow? Uh, probably, yeah, 26 to yeah, 30. I might start it. I'll go 28. There we go, even it out. Do you want to show them the new uh, tyre thing you've got? Oh, yeah. I'll quickly show you. I bought, I purchased one of these. That thing right there. I hope you can see it's a bit dark. Uh, it's one of the Oricom tyre pressure monitor sensors. So I've got four sensors on the ute and four on the van. So, and they've seemed to be working so far, but oh, dust storm. Um, yeah, so and I just let the first tyre down, put the sensor back on and it's bang on. So fingers crossed. Hopefully that yeah. will just, if we'll anything happens while we're driving, hopefully that will let us know before it's too late and we can fix it. So that's the main, um, that's the main reason we actually got them. It's just like these little things here. So there you go. So hopefully um, it will tell us before if you know if we have a flat tire or something, and it will tell us as it's happening, and we can sort of fix it quicker. So yeah. All right, to Tunnel Creek we go. Dust. The dust is a little bit crazy. So um, see what's up. yeah, I think. I what know, is you it? said on there, Winjana's Winjana. Winjana's closed, which sucks, but. Yeah. I know, Damo seems to think it's 40 k's away, Tunnel Creek. The Tunnel Creek from here, yeah. I'm pretty sure it said back there, but we didn't look. So hopefully it's all like this, which is not bad at all. Let's hope it's that, well, then that'll be a quick 40 Summer k's. road on Ricky Camps has been great. Oh, ago, wow. So. That sounds good to me. Yeah, but we'll <laughs> see and It's not bad so far. we have UHFs we've all got them we can tell each other you know if there's a car coming or whatever it's just yeah it's a must-have especially if you're in, in a group or just if you buy yourself actually and put it on what what's the normal channel 40, 40. yeah I think there's a caravan channel it's 18. Right yeah. <laughs> oh. oh okay the the road's getting a little bit spicy but nothing too crazy yet but yeah very dusty <laughs> very dusty I almost feel I almost feel like it's coming through the car and it's going in the back of my throat yeah I know <laughs> probably where that, we've got it on the inside it's probably where they bring the wires in uh, there's always a little gaff or something yeah well you know you found it when there's another <laughs> hundred other cars here with us oh, it's not a <laughs> hundred probably about 20 yeah. but um yeah, quite a few, isn't it? Well, Jeez. We're not going to have to place ourselves to skinny dipping as per the plan. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's still the plan. No skinny dipping today, maybe tomorrow. Oh, just look at that backdrop. Isn't that's it just, cool. isn't it stunning? I said it. Stunning. Oh, guess it, oh this is a bit, a bit dusty. Um, we're at Tunnel Creek. Um, cool little backdrop there. So um, we're all getting ready to go. Uh, we've actually read a couple of the Wiki Camps reviews lately, and um, apparently it's about 170 centimeters deep the water. So I don't know how he is going to go yeah. with Freddie on his back. We don't know. So, we're going to have to test this first out. First up. So what first we up. just did the. I don't know what the road's called. I don't know. Let's just say Winjana Road. What's that? Winjana. 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 Where's Winjana? Winjana Road. We'll just call it that for now. So the road was Wasn't actually bad. pretty There's good. A few dips. A few dips. A quite a big. For. A few rockies. Rocky rock rocks. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it was absolutely fine. Look at all the kids. Bloody hell. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> anyway, start. check out that um, the, that backdrop. That is insane. Have, um, yeah. Left Look at there. these two. No kids. Clinton and Belinda. No kids. What? Just doing their own thing. No, yeah. No, you no. two over there. <laughs> <laughs> their kids are all grown up so um they're not they haven't got the little ones like us so they can just they can do it in their own time they don't have to worry about their kids going to the toilet after five minutes in the car yeah we've all got our pool noodles as well because if it is deep um we need to be able to swim and there's apparently freshies in here <laughs> he's fine whoa 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 yeah jesus <laughs> God, that gets cool straight away, doesn't oh, it? Instantly. Oh, wow. Instantly. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that is lovely. Oh, I do. I love doing this sort of thing. Just, oh, like a walk in the middle of like, it literally feels like nowhere. Oh, I feel like Even on the way here, I just noticed all the foliage has changed. Oh, absolutely. All the different flowers. Absolutely. 
<laughs> oh, we nearly had an Emma down. <laughs> there you go. That's how it's done. Bend to the right, to the left. We've decided not to skimp on torches anymore because you just you need a really really good one to see in caves and um, we got one with um, rechargeable lithium batteries which is which is this one which is absolutely amazing. Oh, you, can see, oh, you can see that there. Yeah. It's just a rough country. Yeah it's cool. It's better than all of our other ones. Oh Jesus look go how, how far you can go that's amazing. Oh that is fresh. Woohoo! Is it what fresh? Kermit's pool, fresh. Kermit's pool. Uh, not as fresh, no. Kermit's pool is way worse than this. This is absolutely epic. Ready? Uh, someone without a baby, go. <laughs> yeah, someone without a baby, can you volunteer yourself oh, first? I'm going to. <laughs> no, no, no! Because they said, let's have to swim. They Come on, Clint. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, let's see how deep it is. You're going to have to start swimming, kids, because it gets deep, okay? So start swimming, there you go. Parker, start swimming now. Yeah, I know, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, he's good. Good job, babe. Good job. Well done. Oh, there you go, Freddy. Well done, Freddy. Is, um, Your head's dry. Is all right? <laughs> wow, yeah, that's cold, isn't it? <laughs> wow. How good was that? No, was sick. Baby on the back. <laughs> uh, Freddy, su Freddy survived, how good's that? Oh dear, this is cool, this is really fun. Oh wow, that's cool isn't it? Frick. I don't see any eyes no, thankfully. Yeah, no. What's that over right at the end? Oh yeah. Jeez, did that not, did that not just look like a bloody crocodile? <laughs> Check out that route there. All the way down into the water. Wow, look at this. Oh, this is cool. What? Is this cool? Yes. Yes. I want to see some crocodiles. Well, no, I don't know. You want to see them, but not when you actually go into the water and have to go in there. Oh, there's like a little waterfall at the end there. Yeah. Is there a rock there? Yeah. And it's very deep. You just got to swim, Quinny, because it's deep. Wow, look at the roof of this. Yeah, it's apparently warm coming out of here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. And there we are. First little bit of rock art, that's cool. See that, Parker? See that little markings? And that's rock art from the Aboriginals a long time ago. Must have been a, this has been a cool cave to hang out in. Good little spot, hang out camp here and fish down there. How's the try going, tribe? Going good, Jase? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tired. So yeah, now we've got to make our way back through the cave, which um, should be exciting. That was pretty cool. So it's in that tunnel, so you have to put the torch above your head. Yep, so it's yeah. like eye level. And then I can see a bright little orange eye reflecting really? back. So you want to come stand here and do it? So put the All torch right. to your head and aim it at that little tiny cave that was on the side. Oh my god! Yeah! You can see it straight away! Yes! Isn't that weird? That's so funny, but from down here I can't see anything. Yeah. But like right, if you just do it above your yeah. head. Wow! And me looking over your shoulder, I can't see it. Yeah, that's so funny. Oh, but I, isn't, I can only see one. Yeah. Oh my god! Well it there you go. Freshies are here. Right, we are back at the other end of the cave and we're going to do the deep pit again where we've got a uh pretty much swim through because um it's pretty deep oh god oh was that you that touched me oh my god that better have been you that touched me oh my god stop it all right that is tunnel creek done that was epic wasn't it sorry that was awesome that was so so, so cool what do you reckon kids did you love yeah. it 
Did yeah. you love it? What was your favourite part? Um, seeing the crocodiles. Seeing the oh, crocodiles. It was, it was really cool. The whole thing was wicked, especially actually getting to see the crocs. I don't think you'll be able to see it on here, but you could just see these two orange, like, bursting, oh, like, lights. just like just little lights. lights. Mirror, yeah. Mirror. It was just, it was really, really cool. Loved it. If that's anything to go by on the gib, I am, um, I'm pumped. I'm, I, think, I think that's one of the easier ones, though. Oh, the really? Rest are a lot harder to, no, like, walks to get to them. Yes. Gorgeous. Well, Freddie at the end of it. Yeah, it was over it. It was over it. Oh my break. gosh. But anyway, yeah, so that's that's just that's just what we have to deal with. <laughs> we, did, we forgot a dummy. Probably could have taken the milk from him at the bottom. Probably, yeah. Next time. Parenting but. fail. Anyway, on our way out of Tunnel Creek now, um, there was actually a historical site um, near to the start of the road. So we're going to stop in there and see what it's all about. Where are we? Historical site. Okay. Uh, little, little Lily Morlaru Police Outpost Ruins. Ah, I said it. There you oh, go. Jail. So, oh. okay, well, yeah, pretty much. I wonder if they Top use shot. each of those as. Yeah, holding cells, maybe. Because it looks like um, different buildings, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. So. S K E N E. S K E N E. Um, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Have you been here, Davy boy? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, we, who knows what this is? That's the shame of not having internet when you, um, when you want to find out exactly what you're looking at. That backdrop is just insane, isn't it? Oh, it's just, oh, it's just beautiful. That's cool. Really cool. Cool little stuff, huh? Nice. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what I'd love if they did? Like a bef like a before shot of what oh, this what? looked like. If, if anyone took find a picture, huh? some kind of picture of it, it would be yeah. really interesting to know. But like, yeah, look, there's like trees actually growing inside it now, which is kind of cool. There you go. Yeah, it would be really cool to have a bit of a uh, before shot. But yeah, there you go. Cool little spot. So we've just come back to camp and I thought I'd show you um, just how dusty it gets in, uh, in the back of the ute. Let's have a look. I haven't opened it yet. I don't know if you can see all that. And this. Yeah, the fridge should be that colour. Yeah, so we're going to have some, um, have a lot of dust in the back of the ute, I think, over the next two weeks. But hey, that's what we're here for. We knew it was going to happen. Chilled afternoon tonight. Um, have some dinner, probably sit around and have a drink with everyone and call it a night and back on the road tomorrow. So, Day two tomorrow is going to be, uh, we're traveling to the next um, camp yeah. spot and we're actually going to go take you through everyone's setup, every car, uh, the caravan and everything like that. So we'll show you that all tomorrow. Inside. So um, There's a Hornet inside yeah, apparently. There's a Hornet inside. Hornet inside. Hello. I told you to close the screen. Right, maybe get that out. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> Please don't go in my cupboard, mate. Anyway, the um, actual campground that we're at um, has a river. <laughs> has a river down there. I'll go have a look in a minute. And there's supposed to be crocs. There it is. It's gone. Yes. Um, it's supposed to be crocs down there. So um, it does say on wiki camps you can swim here, but I mean, I don't know about that. Um, so I'm going to go have a look, see if there is any crocs down there. And um, yeah, we're going to call it a night. Yeah, first day on the gib was great amazing uh if you don't if you want to come and see winjana gorge if it is open whenever it opens again and tunnel creek you can come here and it's all sealed roads from derby um so you can stay here or you can do a day trip um the roads to tunnel creek off the main road um is a little bit corrugated a little bit uh rocky nothing too crazy though so um it can be done so you can leave your caravan at this at leonard um river rest stop and then go from there or just come for a day trip but um yeah it's been a fantastic day ticket off gib day one has been fantastic so um yeah bring on day two we'll see you tomorrow Bye bye